First, maybe to clarify, I think it's not a flying car. We call it, it's a little bit complicated, a modular mobility system. The idea is to be infrastructure light for the people, but also to have something from the cost perspective achievable for the most of us at least. Yeah? So we don't want to have a super rich uh, uh, travel tool. We want to have this accessible for more people because we think only then in mega cities it can first influence in a positive way the traffic and also more important, it, it will be socially acceptable. The, the mechanism in the middle is actually derived from the, uh, the, the coupling mechanism that the International Space Station uses. The car is full electric, so it's uh, really zero impact um, in terms of pol pollution. It's also shared because uh, you can see it's, uh, the system is divided in three modules, what we call the, the hair module, the ground module, and the capsule. The capsule is something that is uh, in, in this configuration is uh, for two passengers, but is also uh, can be modified to carry goods or uh, medicines or something to, that you have to move uh, in a downtown of uh, mega cities. Now, what we are dreaming is something that works with the huge uh, cities of the future. Um, with, with today's battery technology, uh, we could design a vehicle. Uh, we, we could design a vehicle like this that would fly for around um, around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, our target, um, our our objective is to have a vehicle that can fly for 30 minutes um, and around 60 kilometres, which is is uh, which is aimed at covering almost all the uh, airport to city centre routes that exist in the world. So we need, we, need, we need some progress in battery technology compared to what we have today. By definition, it will make noise. The beauty of a flying car like ours is the noise is created outside the urban areas. So you drive from the door where you leave your garage, you take off outside the urban area, you land outside the urban area and drive in again. Driving, you use a car driver's license, Flying, you need a light airplane pilot's license for a gyroplane. That's the easiest license you can get. So it takes you 25 to 35 hours of lessons. You can go in Europe to your local gyroplane school. For example, France has 50 of them, Germany 20, you name it. But our customers probably don't want to go for a year long on Saturdays, one hour of training. So we have organized also fly drive academies in the world where you can go for a bootcamp training.